Hello you guys, welcome back to my channel. Today we are doing a little makeover on the boys' bedroom. Just a little paint and some DIY, but I have these two signs that I am no longer using in the main living area of the house, so I'm going to repurpose them today. I am just first wiping them down with some multi-surface cleaner. And then I'm gonna go in with this chalkboard paint. It is a black finish, and then I just have this sponge brush. It goes on kind of blue, and then it dries black. And I just have had this on hand for a while, and so I didn't go out and buy any new black paint for this project, just trying to use up stuff that I already have. Um, but I'm doing one coat, and then I'll let that dry and go back and do another coat. But this sign that I'm painting right now is like a metal material, and this chalk paint worked really well on that. But I'm gonna be making these signs for the boys' bedroom, a little bit of new decor. I asked them what they would like to have on these signs, and they said Kong versus Godzilla and Super Mario Bros. So that's what we're gonna be doing today with these signs and just making some new decor. And we're also gonna be painting a wall in the boys' bedroom. They've had wallpaper for about a year and a half. They had sort of a space theme going on in their room about a year and a half ago, and they've slowly kind of gotten out of all of that, and they're super into Godzilla and King Kong and Legos and Mario and that kind of stuff. So we're just switching it up for them, and it's super fun for me to do these projects. So I hope you guys enjoy this video. Stay tuned because we have lots of fun stuff coming up. Now this is the next day. I am just measuring these signs so that way I know how big of vinyl I can use. And I'm gonna be cutting some vinyl on my Cricut Maker today. So I've opened up my Cricut Design Space and I am brainstorming what I can do to make the boys the signs of their dreams. And you guys, they were so excited when they saw what I came up with. I made a sign in my fall decorate with me video. It's just so much fun and I love repurposing things. And I've been really into using this removable vinyl. So then if I want to change up these signs or the boys end up wanting something else a year from now when they wanna change up their room again, then I can remove this vinyl and make something different. But there's also permanent vinyl that I've used on cups and all sorts of different things. Now moving on to the boys bedroom I'm giving you a little overview here of what the wallpaper looks like just like in Berkeley's room which if you haven't seen that video I painted a rainbow on her wall we took down her floral wallpaper but just like in there the wallpaper is kind of coming down on the corners and the top in their room so I had some double-sided tape up there holding it up but a couple weeks ago we went to Home Depot to pick out paint for Berkeley's rainbow wall and the boys decided on a paint color for their wall and I'll be showing that to you guys once we get to painting it 
is called Thermal and it's by Bear from Home Depot. So anyways, we will get to that, but to start off, I'm just moving everything off of this wall so that way I can get the wallpaper taken down and it's super easy to remove because it's peel and stick wallpaper and we did enjoy it for the time that we had it up, but you know, changing things up every once in a while is fun and we've had these moons up on the wall for about a year and a half now. I think it was March. 2020 roughly um, when I put that wallpaper up and we did a little refresh on the boys room back then but we are doing the same thing again today it's so much fun to do DIYs and home improvement projects and when the kids want to change things up I am all for it because it's so much fun and I'm always down for a project so I've got my hammer I've got my spackle my spackle knife my sanding block to sand down the spackle once I fill the holes from the nails I'm taking the nails out of the wall removing the plug-in covers and then we're gonna peel the wallpaper down Once I've got the wallpaper down, I'm just going in with my spackle knife and a little bit of spackle and I'm sticking that where those nail holes were, gonna let that dry. While that's drying, I'm just vacuuming off the baseboard so that way when I go to paint, there's no dust or anything because as you can see in the corner right there, there was a lot of dust and you don't want that getting in your paint or on your paintbrush. Vacuuming all of that off and then I'm going in with some multi-purpose cleaner and I'm gonna wipe down all the baseboards on this side where I'm gonna be painting also. All right, now I'm just showing you what I'm gonna be using. I have this little handy paint cup that has a magnetic plate on there so then your paintbrush sticks to it. Um, as you can see, it's very well used. I just rinse it out when I'm done. Um, and then I have a new paintbrush and then here is the paint. So I get the Bare Paint and Primer in one and I get the Semi-Gloss Enamel and the boys picked this color when we were at Home Depot and it is called Thermal. It's kind of a turquoise dark teal blue green situation and I love how it turned out so you guys will see that here soon but they went back and forth on what color one of them wanted green one of them wanted blue and then they saw this one and they were like hey perfect compromise <laughs> so I'm glad that they picked one that we all loved and you guys will see what it looks like here in just a second but it is so pretty Now, without further ado, we are gonna get right in there and start painting. So I'm doing all the edging first, and every time I post a painting video, you guys are always giving me comments about how I don't tape anything off, but I've had so much practice painting in our last house, um, our farmhouse that we lived in. We painted, I painted every single room of that house. Um, some of those rooms we painted multiple times too, and my stepdad taught me how to edge and how to cut in on corners and all of that stuff. He uh, painted houses for a really long time and taught me how to do that. So now every time I'm painting, I think of my stepdad, which if you guys know, he's no longer with us. So um, it's kind of therapeutic for me to paint. I love painting. And then, um, you know, I do a whole bunch of it and I'm like, I am never painting again. But then after a little while, I'm ready for another project. So love doing this, but I'm just gonna cut in all of the edges first and then we will roll the wall with the roller brush. Should go home to my bed, sleep it up. Me 
wish me good luck Yeah, I gotta put on my favorite song I need a boost Let's turn up the love Because it's on All right, all the edges are done and ready to go. So I've got my paint in my pan and I just have a basic roller brush for like all surfaces, kind of the fuzzy one. I didn't show you guys a before of it, but you can kind of see it there in my hand. Um, and I couldn't find my attachment for this roller. You can actually have like a long wood attachment that screws in. I mean, I couldn't find out in the garage, so I just went up and down the ladder. But yeah, we're just going to roll this whole wall. And when I got to about right here, I was like, oh shoot, I forgot to sand these little patches I had filled. So I'm taking my sanding block and just smoothing those out real quick before I roll the brush over that. All right, so while the first coat of paint is drying on the wall, I'm going out to the garage and I've got these two shelves that used to be hung in our living room. We took those out of the living room and we ended up doing something different out there. And then one of these got hung up in Berkeley's room and it was in there for a while. And then one was in our master bathroom, but we're gonna be doing a makeover in our bathroom soon. So we took that one down. So now we've got these two shelves with nowhere to put them. So I decided instead of building shelves in the boys' room like um, on the other side, on the other wall above the other bed, we decided to just use what we already have and hang up one of those shelves in the bedroom here on this green wall. So I was just cleaning those off in the garage, dusting them and wiping them down. And then I'm going back in the room and I'm gonna put that second coat of paint on the wall. Now, a few hours later, after all of the paint is dry, I'm going in to hang up those pictures that I did the vinyl on. So I got the Kong and Godzilla one hung over here where there was nothing hanging. And then the boys decided they wanted the Super Mario one right here. And then the B that was above their bookshelf, we are gonna put over on the other side of Brayden's shelf. So now each of the boys will have shelves to put their own things on. Like I said, they're super into Godzilla and King Kong and Legos and stuff. So having these shelves, they're able to display the things they build and their little collectibles and stuff like that. So um, I just used some um, painter's tape and put that on the B and marked where my nail holes needed to be, made sure it was level. And that's how I measure when I'm hanging something up that has like more than one nail. Um, so anyways, I'm just gonna organize Braden's shelf here. He took all of Brody's stuff off um, because they were sharing these shelves to display all their stuff, but we took all Brody's things off so that way those can go up on Brody's shelf above his bed. Now Donnie came in and he's marking off where the anchors need to go. We're just using some 50 pound anchors so that will hold 100 pounds. Um, two of those to hang up the shelf. So he is drilling some holes for the anchors, getting those put in and hanging up the shelf. So then I can go in and decorate. And the old one's gone under the knife And I can feel the sun on my skin So 
So once the shelf is up and level, I'm just gonna vacuum the dust that's on the floor and the baseboard from drilling those holes. Now I'm taking all of Brody's things and putting them up on this shelf. I think it's so cute. All their little collectibles and pictures and stuff. To see the horizon and the far Excuses were too for a penny But they've all gone out the window of the all right, now I'm getting the bed put back up against the wall. I'm gonna get new sheets put on and get the beds made, but um, you can see there's some blank space on the wall between the shelf that's hanging and then the bookshelf and then above the bookshelf. So plans for those areas. I actually ordered some signs from House of Rounds on Etsy um, and they're like the round wooden signs that have the boys' names on them. So it'll have like their first and middle name with cool lettering. Um, and I ordered those about a week ago. So I'm waiting on those to come in. So I'll show you those whenever they come in, probably in a vlog or something. But I plan on putting one um, kind of between the two shelves, um, but like right above the end of that bed and then one above the bookshelf. So that's why there's nothing there. I'm just gonna leave that blank until those come in and then I'll show you how those um, turn out. But like I said, I'm just getting new sheets put on and then getting the kids' beds made. It was nighttime at this point. Um, and the lighting in their room is not the greatest at night. So once I am done with all of this and getting their room all put back together, I am waiting until the next morning to give you guys some after shots. So now this is the next morning. I can give you some after shots and some daylight uh, to show you what the color looks like. I love how the color turned out, especially the contrast between these black and white signs that I made with the green and then the gray wall and then the wood on the shelf. I just love how it turned out so much. So this is what Brody's shelf is looking like with all of his little things on there. I think it is so cute, all his Godzillas and King Kongs and stuff. Um, and then right here is where I was telling you guys I'm going to put those round signs. So I will show you those when they come in. I'm super excited about them. I also ordered one for Berkeley, but my nephew was just born in the end of September. And my sister has one for my nephew, and I thought it was so cute. So I ordered them for all three of my kids too. But then this side, I'm giving you a little overview of how it looks with all of Braden's things on his shelf. And I absolutely love how these vinyl and paint signs turned out But that is going to be it for this video. So thank you so much for watching. Be sure to subscribe if you are new to my channel and stick around for all of the rest of my videos that are coming up soon. Thank you guys again and I will see you in my next one. Bye.